I'll say you've put on, what, about 20 pounds since last season? Uh, uh, 16. 16 season, pounds. Yes, would, you be, would you have been able to add that much muscle mass if you would play basketball? Highly unlikely. I, uh, I probably would have lost a couple of pounds mm -hmm. as well. So um, when I when I first uh, made the decision not to play basketball, it was, it was really rough for me. And I remember having a conversation with Coach Gentry, and he'll tell you that he came to me. He said, uh, "I think it was good that you didn't play," and I kind of like gave him a, a, a dirty look mm -hmm. because I wasn't happy about it. But now that I come back and look at it, uh, I'm really glad I made that decision. Yeah, because you know, you, if you're a long-term football player, if you have the potential at the next level. Um, you, know, you need to go. You feel like you need to go all in on football rather yes, than sir. splitting your time. Yes, sir. Yeah. How much different do you feel right now than last year? At this point, last year you were wet behind the ears. You probably didn't know the offense, but you had to start from day one. Uh, how much more confident are you this season? Uh, a lot more. Uh, I think uh, experience is a, is a big uh, reason why I'm uh, more relaxed, more comfortable. I'm not thinking. I'm more so just playing. So that's a big thing. How much better is your chemistry with uh, Michael Brewer now? Uh, me and him chemistry is night and day compared to last year. I mean, what I, as you say, I came in 170 pounds uh, and I was real skinny. So, I, first look at me, I don't think he thought I would have played as much as I did last year. But uh, now he's known that we established something this year. So we spent a lot of time in here actually uh, running routes on there uh, anytime he needed me. How much more fun does the game get when you don't have to think all the time? You can actually just play. Uh, it's, it, it makes it all that much better, you know. When you're just relaxing and you're having fun out there, you're not worried about, oh, shoot, where do I go? What do I run? So it makes it a lot more fun. The passing game going to be that mo much more of a threat this year than it was last year? Do you feel like? uh, yes, sir, I think so. I'm, uh, we believe that in our receiver room that we're going to have to put up some points. Uh, we know the defense is going to hold their end of the bargain, but we're going to have to put up some points. And we feel like in the past game, that's where we're going to have to do it. And uh, we like that, uh, like that chip on our shoulder, and we're ready to, um, to handle that. How excited are you for Ohio State first game of the year? Uh, yes, sir. I'm, I'm really excited. You know, uh, when we played them last year, that was a really, a really fun game. Uh, they're a great team. Uh, they're national champions, so I'm pretty sure they're going to come back in here and, uh, and be ready to play. But we're going to be ready to play too. When you talk about playing with Brewer over the summer. How much of a difference does this new facility make in your summer preparations? Uh, you can work out pretty much every day. You don't have to worry about the elements. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, like you said, uh, we can work out every day, no matter the time of day. And uh, I know a lot of the times, me and him, we came in here at night times uh, when it's just me and him, or me, him, and Cam. And uh, we spent a lot of time, uh, a lot of hours in here sweating and uh, just going through our progressions and our routes and stuff. So I think that made a big difference. Have you seen a big difference in Michael? Just him doing anything differently? Uh... I think I've seen him more confident. Uh, last year, um, it was his first year in the office as well, so it was a lot on his plate as well, and uh, then he took a lot of hits last year. And uh, this year, uh, he's he's know everything like the back of his hand. He's way more relaxed, and uh, he, look, he just looks really, really confident out there. Everyone looks at the success that you and Cam had last year, but you were a freshman, and yes, sir. you did play a ton of snaps too. Coach Leffler talks about do you feel like you've made a big stride, or are you poised to have an even bigger impact this year? Um, well, that's the plan. Uh, I know um, as last year it might have been a surprise to a lot of people, but this year they're going to be looking out for me. So I know I have to work twice as hard as I did last year, and I've been doing that. Uh, I get the, the best of both worlds, uh, going against our defense and every day in practice to get to go against corners like Kendall Fuller and Chuck Clark, Brandon Faison. So I'm going against the best corners in the country every day, so I think they're going to prepare me uh, for anything. Woody's having a great camp. Like so many good tackles here. Who do you kind of draw stuff from to, um, to model your game after? You know, Luther and Corey, but you know, somebody that's really been helping me out a lot is Nigel. You know, Nigel, he, whenever uh, we watch, uh, whenever we watch, he's always telling me to come next to him. And, you know, he asks me to play and uh, I answer it. You know, just make sure I know that all, the, just know what I'm supposed to do, situational things, and just make sure I know the defense. I think I kind of came in at the end of the answer when you were doing it before. Do you think you could have a role this year? I mean, is there a way you could get on the field this year? Um, yeah, I think I, I think I can play this year. But, you know, if I don't, I'll understand. But uh, the right, as of right now, you know, I just got to keep working. That's not my main, my main priority right now. Just got to keep working. You know, uh, later we still have camp. So it depends on how camp uh, – depends on how camp uh, goes throughout. So. That's that's you know just gotta keep waiting you know I'm not gonna really I'm not gonna really like break myself down about me and not be able to play because you know <clears throat> red shirt isn't really that bad thing you know because you learn and get tired of burn weight but uh, 
I'm gonna try my best to you know get on the field this year. You know, if you were to have the red shirt on, obviously, as you said, a chance to both learn and sort of get your body right. You know, what would you think would be the the focus for you? Would it just be Bud Foster's scheme? Would it be you know where you want to be? Like where would that be? Um, it would just I, that that kind of goes both ways. You know, I can I can learn and learn, but. I'm more worried about losing the weight than anything. And, you know, Coach Beamer said that, you know, he doesn't want to try and outrun you anytime soon, even with, you know, that maybe the extra weight. Do you feel like you're still, you know, fast enough to, to make an impact, even at 360, 340, whatever? I still have I still have camp. So I still have camp to go. You know, uh, I, have, I still have uh, weight that I haven't burned yet that I'm trying to get down to. I, I know I will at the end. Of, I probably, I'm trying to burn another 10 to 15. What's your goal? Uh, your weight goal and what are you right now? Well, um, since camp started, you know, I want, I'm trying to achieve something every day. So like burn one to two pounds a day. So hopefully by the end of camp, I burn about 15 to 20 pounds. Luther compared you to a, a big baby out there. He said, you know, you don't necessarily know exactly what you're doing in the defense, but that you're big and strong. Do you feel like when you're out there, you're matching up or do you feel a little lost? Or what's it like in the first few? Um, first couple of days, I felt kind of lost. You know, you gotta, I got to find my way into things. You know, I'm not really, it's not high school no more. I, I can't really do what I want and, you know, go off high. So I got to, it's all about, it's, it's not about me, it's about we. So, you know, I have I have a job on the line. And it's, um, you know, the other defensive linemen have a job on the line. And the linebackers have a job. You know, we all got to feel and we got to go at that. You guys have a lot of talent, a lot of depth on that defensive line. Did you come in kind of expecting the red shirt, or do you think there's a chance that there's somewhere for you to play this early? I mean, you know, I want to play, but you know, if I if I don't, I understand. You know, they, they just want to do the best thing for the team. Um, even if I if I do play this year, I know I won't have a lot of snaps, but you know, I, I'll have experience. Over the past year, when you were working to get here, how much did uh, did Stroman play into helping you get get on campus? Stroman, uh. When he, once he committed, I was, it was kind of like, dang, you know, we could just start this all over again, you know, because we grew up together and stuff like that. So, you know, and we, and we, we, and we already have a history here with our school and stuff like that. So we just want to start another franchise, you know, just trying to bring, try to bring our area back out here, you know, try to start something new. You know, a lot of, a lot of people from the 757 come out here. We want to try to get like people from our area to come out here. We, we got a lot of talent in our area. We just haven't really got a chance to show it yet.